This video is brought to you by McCall's Quilting. Hi, I'm Kathy Patterson. Welcome to Block Builders Workshop. Today we're going to talk about a technique called partial seam construction. And even though it sounds a little technical, it's actually very easy to do. This block that appears in the March-April 2014 issue of McCall's Quilting is an example of a place where you would need to know how to do this technique. As you can see, the units here don't line up with each other. So we can't add them as, as rows as you would in a lot of regular blocks. Instead, we're gonna add these units rotating around the center point. Let me make that a little bit clearer for you. Here's our center patch, and we're gonna have to add one unit here, another unit here, another here and another here, and the directions for how to make these units are in the magazine. We're not gonna talk about that today, we're just gonna talk about the technique for adding them to the square. So the first thing that we're gonna do is sew some of this seam, and that's why this is called partial seam construction. We're only gonna sew about halfway, and this is how we're gonna approach that. Take this to the machine, and I'm gonna sew, using a standard quarter inch seam allowance, I'm going to sew that center square to the first unit, and I'm only going to go about halfway down the square. And then you can take a couple of stitches back to secure if you want. Let me show you how funky that looks. Open it out for you here. So there we go. That seam is partially sewn. And now we've created a nice place to add our second unit. We, and we'll sew this as a normal seam. This is not a partial seam. The next few seams are just regular seams. Again, using a standard quarter inch seam allowance. And you can pin this if you're more comfortable with it being pinned. I've been sewing a lot of these, so I think I'll just nudge it in place with my fingers. Again, this is a full seam now, not a partial seam. So we'll go right off the end. And here's how that's shaping up. Here's our initial partial seam. We just sewed a full second seam. We're going to do the same thing to add this third unit. Just going to sew that full, full seam. Once that's on there, we're going to sew on the fourth unit to this side, which leaves us with this little seam. So here's another sample that I made ahead of time so you wouldn't have to watch me sew all these regular seams. As you can see, we still have this partial seam open here. This was where we first started. We added this unit, this unit, and this unit, and now we're ready to complete that partial seam. So we're going to go to the machine and start where we left off where we sewed those couple of back tack stitches. Just going to line up my fabric and sew a regular quarter inch seam. And that is all there is to that. There's our partial seam completed. I hope you'll try this block and gain a little confidence about partial seaming construction. It's very easy, as you've just seen, and it'll help you be able to do some blocks that have unusual construction. 